So I've been asked by a few people how I use the uh, the display in my airplane and what kind it is. It's an MGL. Um, it's great because it's like completely customizable. So I'll show you how I use it. So this is the display I use mostly for when I'm flying aerobatics. Um, all I really care about is engine monitoring when I'm flying around doing aerobatics or air shows. So this is all the important stuff and all the information I need. Um, First off, I'm pretty visual, so I set up the display to kind of be a representation of the engines. Like, I'm looking down at it. Here's the six cylinders. I can see my CHDs, my AGTs, oil pressure, oil temperature. Um, up above here, I got manifold pressure, RPM, my trim indicator, my smoke, if it's on or off. If it's on, it turns green, off is red. Uh, as we come down, I got my fuel flow, fuel pressure, and my fuel tanks. Uh, I got a totalized down here I can set, but I also have, I got five fuel tanks in this airplane. Um, two in each wing, which are just for cross country, and then this one in the center, which is my uh, header acro tank. And um, use that for aerobatics. So that's it, and this is just other information that I have on there that's not really necessary for flying aerobatics, which is nice to have, except for, uh, you know, how the battery health is. Um, I got some times, I got my hobby maintenance and whatnot. Uh, a G meter here, which I don't really use. I use the other G meter that's in the airplane, but it's just there as a backup. If I'm going cross country, usually I'm on a screen like this. So I got my whole artificial horizon, which is actually 3D synthetic vision. I got a moving map down here. I got all my engine instruments, which is kind of looks familiar. It's just reorganized from that other main page. RPM, manifold pressure, airspeed, altitude and all the little bits of information we need. I've got radio stuff down here. It's all XL because the avionics master's on. Let me turn that on. So all that will come on. Um, navigation info. I can go to just a full moving map if I want. It's also XL because I'm in a hangar right now, so it's not picking up a GPS signal. I can go to a split screen, which usually when I'm cross country, like actually en route, this is usually the screen I'm on just because I like a slightly bigger map and you can zoom in zoom out oops actually oh one there we go um in case i get bored looking that way i can swap the screens there's that screen where i'm flying aerobatics then there's these screens this screen i use um if i'm going to be flying competition aerobatics i have a sequence card holder that goes right here and blocks out this half of the screen. So I made a smaller engine monitoring that I can always see. It's just to the right of where my, my sequence card holder is. That's pretty much it. And then over here, I just have this little backup gauge. Um, for some reason, this one can put, I still have all my engine monitoring over here. And the oil pressure is on a different sensor than this one. So, um, you know, the most important thing I think is you just gotta know you have oil pressure. So if one sensor goes bad, I have another one as a backup and they're independent systems from each other. That's it, that's how I use the, uh, the MGL. It's a pretty cool display, really easy to use. It's touch screen and everything I need is right there.